welcome back to the second tutorial of the fragment so we have discussed little bit theory and I, I committed that we'll we'll see code in the next tutorial so welcome to the second tutorial let's do some coding with the fragment so I said that if you want to use the fragment there are the two things either you can work with fragment tag or you can use frame layout to insert the fragment dynamically let's do that thing so make sure that whenever you are going to work with the fragment your activity should extend to the fragment activity okay see this app compact activity which is extending to the fragment activity means this activity is capable of handling the fragment transactions right so by the principle it should extend to the fragment activity and it is extending so app compact is nothing but the backward compatibility app compact activity gives you some things which are necessary for the backward compatibility see what you can s read over here you can add an action bar to your activity when running on the api level 7 or the higher by extending this class for your activity and setting the activity theme to whatever this thing means this is giving you something called as backward compatibility so this is very important so make sure that you are extending either app compact activity or to the fragment activity okay now let me go to the package my package I hope you are familiar with the Android studio if you are not familiar with the Android studio please go with my earlier tutorials which will explain what do you mean by Android Studio? What do you mean by Gradle? Why do you need to use the Android Studio? And why not the Eclipse, right? Everything I have explained in detail, fine. Now, let me create something called as Fragment. Can you see this? I, I'm preferring the blank fragment. And here, please do not include these factory methods at the first time when you are working with the fragments on the very first time please untick these two things otherwise it would be at maximum confusion or it would be creating some kind of confusion to you that's why I'm making the untick over here then the blank fragment you can give some good name over here say my fragment no problem and say finish see this would be the fragment right and it is a subclass of the fragment a little nice documentation level code uh, comment generated okay then look at the import section you are importing the fragment from android.support.v4.app.fragment we discussed that thing fragments are introduced in honeycomb that is 3.0 but you need to use same application right below honeycomb that is 2.2 2.3 right means gingerbread honeycomb or the base if you want to use the fragment below the honeycomb you are going to extend it to the support fragment right there is one another way is also that if I comment this so it would be giving me the error and see the import class can you see the two packages android.app and android.support.v4 so if you think that your application should work above honeycomb go with this thing right but this is not suggested way many many things are there or many third party even libraries are there that works only with the support fragment so either you can this or you can use this one and same but impact is the different and you can see the constructor you can see the constructor over here they have clearly mentioned required empty public constructor why this would be needing we'll see later on I'm deleting this as well so your code is this much my fragment extends fragment and this is one of the lifecycle method which is returning the view right and here is the inflator from the inflator you are returning the fragments layout see here 
so this is and android studio 2.2 that's why you are getting this theme or this structure fine so instead of frame layout i'm make sure that what i'm doing presently i'm inside resource layout and the fragment underscore my i'm inside fragment underscore my instead of this frame layout i can say linear layout no problem you can say this thing as a linear layout and into the fragment let me have orientation say orientation that would be the vertical and into this i would be having edit text edit text you can get the live preview over here edit text would be here just tap on the refresh some problem with my this edit text this match parent and say wrap content okay then instead of text you might need hint say hint and you can say username okay again for password username you can say hint as password and here button button match parent height is the wrap content and text is login you can provide some IDs like this at plus ID EDT username here also ID at plus ID EDT password and button ID is nothing but at plus ID it's a BTN login so you have created this as a fragment and see inflating you are inflating this layout to this view I'll call it as root view so view root of your fragment is this and root view I'm returning this view from this fragment okay so you this is your fragments layout and this is your fragments Java file so both the file are in the connection now my question is that do you have any connection with this fragment and this activity no still no so let's go to the activity underscore main right relative layout keep it as it is presently because I'm not going to do or let's make it linear layout here I'm not going to use constraint layout over here in this tutorial I, I might use in next to next tutorial say the vertical and here you can say one tag fragment tag fragment tag say match parent and the wrap content make sure that you would be giving either tag unique tag or you would be giving ID to the fragment say at plus ID fragment login and class see so this class now you have mapped this activity with this fragment you have mapped this activity with this fragment means onto this activity this fragment would be getting loaded see what will happen just go by the flow just go by the flow let me open the app into the app Java into the Java main see your program will come over here it will execute or it will create this activity on the create of this activity this set content view method gets executed once it is going to execute the set content method it will parse all the XML and it will create object at same time it will inject this fragment to your activity over here right like this this activity and this fragment is having some connection so this is the first way of 
creating the fragment using the fragment tag in the next tutorial I'm going to add the fragment right using the frame layout you can execute this anywhere you can execute this in the emulator or you can execute this in your directly device uh, and rest of the things are very same if you want to get the find view by ID that will do over here let me write for the button like this see find view or root view dot find view by ID r dot ID dot btn login dot set on click listener and say new view dot on click listener make sure that you would be calling on the root view dot find view by id btn login and here you can write whatever your code on the click of the login you can call the web service you can call some sample logic that's it for this tutorial in the next tutorial i'm going to show you how to integrate frame layout and the fragment right and in the third tutorial we are going to make some app live app right short app thanks a lot for watching the video subscribe the code cool and get the latest updates on the android and get something more and more and more detail in the android thanks a lot for watching the videos on the code cool